welcome back to the video you guys i hope you guys have an amazing day thank you guys for joining me your boy 20 for another banger i hope you guys can hear me i did recently get a, a like a what do you call it let me just show you guys i recently got a dead cat so if you guys can see yourself you guys are furred up i did also recently pick up this tripod for the gopro i was i was noticing when i had the little stock mount that it comes with when i move around it would make a lot of noise so hopefully this helps get rid of some of that noise so when i move around and touch it and stuff you won't be able to hear it i want to have nice crisp audio i always like to invest in myself i always like to make better content for you guys so whatever money i can put towards that i'm best believe i'm gonna do for us for tune tuners i was noticing some audio issues in the previous video so hopefully this helps out a lot better because this camera is honestly amazing quality but really really bad audio on a you know regular so hopefully this dead cat helps if it does let me know in the comments below i want to know let me know what you guys think today hopefully i get to close this thing up hopefully and just be finished with it and then to start in the motor after that we just got clutch stuff to wait on flywheel bolts we got uh tap because previous shot messed them up so i gotta redo them but pretty much we're up to speed now all i gotta do is do the timing and then we should be good to go after that these are the gaskets for the oil pump because they are different one of them is bigger than the other just gonna let me give you guys some part numbers you know there you go some part numbers for you guys so from what i've seen from what i saw is that the bigger one goes towards the front smaller one goes towards the rear so now we can just turn put the water pump back in pretty much make sure not to pinch the actual o-rings all right so we just gotta torque the water pump down to 10 foot pounds All right, so this is bank one, this is bank two. Passenger side will always be bank one, for those of you guys that are curious. Now that you know that, we can reassemble it now. All right, now we're actually gonna move into actually putting the motor to time. So first things we gotta do is put on the cam sprocket, which go right here and right here. So a simple way to get started is put these dowel pins right here, face them up towards this line. They don't have to be exact. They just have to be sitting relatively up there. Get both sides done like that and we should be good to go. Now we can actually show you how to do that on the cam sprockets. Right here we got the cam sprockets. So what we need to do is flip these over so I can show you guys how to do the timing on the back of these. This would be the front of them. So, so right here on the back side, I already went ahead and timed them. So on both of them, you're gonna find that there's oval marks like these on the back of the timing sprockets right there. See those oval marks? You're gonna see those oval marks. And then on some, you're gonna see these circle marks. Both of them have it, but the way you use them is different. So the circle ones are gonna go on bank one, like I told you guys, line them up to both of these orange ones, the circles, and then line the singular one up with this circle. Now for bank two, it's a little bit different. You just rotate them. So you get the oval guide on this side, these two, use these two. Obviously these have two marks. So you use where the chain has both the indicators. And on this side, you only use one and it's the other oval side. So on both of them, Simply from bank one to bank two, you just rotate them to line up different points. So this is bank one with the circle. So we're gonna go ahead and slap this one on. Now that you aligned your guide pins, it should go in here and in here, real smooth. Remember that. Remember the circle ones go towards bank one. So we're just gonna slide that sucker in there. If you guys are curious, the smaller bolt goes in here because you know, obviously it has a deeper socket or a deeper entrance. This one goes on out here because it has to be all the way on the outside. Longer bolt goes on this pocket. Shorter bolt goes on this one. Don't forget to take off the pin you used for the tensioner. If you don't, it's gonna be very bad. Make sure to take that sucker out of there so there's tension on the actual belt. Timing, you're all good to go. I got a little too ahead of myself, don't mind that. Uh, basically, the way you can check your work to see if it's still on time, even after you put it on, is right oh, in there. You can see that there's two timing marks on the actual sprocket, if I can get that to focus. And then you got your actual orange lines right here, your orange guides line those up right there and then on this side it should have one as well back there see where the orange thing is at they should have a guide on the actual thing i can't really show you guys through here it's kind of a tight but you can peek your eye in through there and you can see me trust me also right here back here looks good and then down here you can see that it's still lined up with the right there you can see it's still lined up looks good to me now the way you line up the big chain is i don't know if this is the proper way to do it but this is how i this is how i did it to do it to mine this bar right here needs to go to this top dead center mark right about there it needs to be lined up and there you can there you see it and then up here these you want this one to point up 
and this one as well but I need to spin that one so I'll just do that with this right here when I need it to and the way you align the big chain is there's three there's two different colors on the big chain as you can see this one's kind of more of a yellow orange yellow orange and this one's like straight up orange whatever's left of it you know and this bottom one goes to this mark right here if you guys can see that it's like an oval mark right you can get that to focus there's a mark right there on the bottom of that you line this one up with that one this one goes with this one as well and there's a dot in there if you guys can see it on the sprocket as well where you line up the yellow orange one right there you line that one up and i'm gonna turn this one line that one up and then we can start putting on the tensioners and guides and then the water pump you don't have to worry about you just put the chain on it don't worry. Now before we put on the guides and tension and all that, you want to just double check all your work. Back here looks good. This one looks good. Back there looks good as well. Right here looks good. Back here looks good. And back here, through there, you can kind of see it. Still looks good. Right here is still top dead center. And right here is still lined up. So we're looking good. Now we can put the tensioners and guides back on and be ready. Now we got everything all timed up. Now we can put the tensioners, guides and everything right back up. Then we'll hopefully be able to seal it. This one goes in like so, with the hole right there, and just kind of screw it in by hand. Low timing guide looks like this, like so, if I can show you, right there. And it goes behind this thing, so, you gotta give it some love, you know? Yay! I believe this one gets torqued down to 15 foot pounds, so just go ahead and do that, and then Make sure you always got a cotter pin. I always put a cotter pin in my stuff so I know it doesn't ever come out, you know? Because otherwise this thing is going to come out all the way. It's going to make it a little bit harder. I was tripping on this thing for a bit. This is a top tensioner or guide. And let me teach you something right there. You see how it says FR? That means front. So this is going towards the front. So it goes like that on there. FR. I love so much tone. All right, so you got your big boy torque wrench and then the intake cams go torque to i believe it was 77 through 78 foot pounds and then the exhaust ones get torqued down to anywhere from 81 to 94. so i'm gonna do 70 i'm gonna do 78 and i'm gonna do 90. and ivan's gonna help let me, let me get my boy in here give me a boy in here there you go mando i'm just finishing this shit up Now we change it to 80 or 90. Guess we caught rolling though. It's the boy high roll. There we go. This one might be really hard because it's hella far. There we go, baby. A lot has happened. We got the boy high on the mix, you know? Um. So I put silicone right here on the bottom. I usually put a thin strip. Not the best at it, but we started, we put them, we just did the whole perimeter. You do the whole perimeter, and then you do these inside ones right here, these three, and then these two, and then the square right here in the middle, do that. I don't put a lot, as you can see, I just put a thin thin bead, you know, nothing major. Not the best at it, but you know, I just put a little bit. Over here, I just put it right here, because I didn't want to struggle, so I just put it right there. Other than that, I think we should be good. Last thing we need to do is put the gaskets right here. For the gallery gaskets, there's two O-ring gaskets right here, and I'll show you right now. This is what they look like. They got like a little bit of poke on them. Make sure you put these suckers on. This is what I used to clean it up. I used an air compressor. I blew it everywhere. So everything looks kind of good. My head looks pretty good. Everything looks pretty clean. I'm going to clean up like in there when everything else is back on and dirt doesn't get inside because there's a lot of junk in there. But so far, so good. Looks good. I use gasoline to clean up these edges on everything. And then lay, lay silicone on top and whatnot. Just... But these go right in there. Let me just put them on already. 
the gaskets are in make sure not to forget those very important and we're good to go she's gonna let this thing dry i let it sit for like 10 minutes 10 to 5, 10 to 5 to 10 minutes let this thing sit and then you can put the silicone on there and then she's ready to be closed up what are your thoughts Harold? coming together you feel me oh it's crazy what are, what are, what are, what are your thoughts Harry? I think this shit's gonna be fast once it's put together. You I think, think so, my boy? Ah, you know? oh, camera though. Let me get that on camera. Uh, the camera timed out when I did that. No way. What's up? Well, what did you say? Well, I think it's ready to get gas. Okay, you know? crazy, okay. Crazy. How do you think you can handle it like that? Okay, crazy. You no, think so, my boy? Off that dig, you feel you me? think so? Off hey, off a dig. Who you guys think wins? Let me know in the comments. The boy Hyro. The boy Hyro and the exhaust two G thirty seven or in mine. You know, fully built engine. Then major. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's just, it's just stock. We just did the gallery guys. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. You got the slow boy Harrow? Okay. Or, or, or it's a slow Z. Okay, okay. What do you guys have? Let me, just let me know in the comments. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. So now we're ready to slap this thing on. Close it for the night. It's already starting to get dark, you know? Today was super hot. I don't know if I told you guys about the weather, but it's starting to cool down. When we picked up some mangoes, you know? And then major. We just gotta slap this thing on, you know? Finish her up. I'm gonna do, I forgot to get valve covers valve cover gaskets so i'm gonna do those tomorrow and then the oil pan i'm gonna redo it tomorrow because i kind of ran out of silicone so we're just gonna finish closing up the big components i guess took out my cutter pins is there is there i'm just nervous man it looks cool though the moment of truth We pretty much sealed. There's this bracket that needs to go back when you guys put the front plate back on. And then the 14 goes right there. And then the other 14 goes down here. And then the other one goes from the bracket that you guys use for your power steering, I believe. Other than that, uh, there's a couple other 14s like here, 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 and here right next to that one. Every All the other ones are 10. Uh, I didn't torque these down. I just kind of tightened them as hard as I could with my hand. Or just hand tight, you know, nice and snug. But it should be good to go. And then tomorrow we can start putting on the accessories like the you know the pulleys and the belt and all that and all that fun stuff so it starts looking more and more like a motor every day it's pretty dark out already can't even see ivan <laughs> we're all done yay uh, everything's done for today you know then the work starts again tomorrow but i think everything else is easy now no yeah timing was like the trickiest thing that i had to deal with well, that I, I thought to myself was the hardest part, you know? Because I didn't understand it. But once you understand something, then you could do it, right? Obviously. Say a couple words and be like, who the fuck is that? Yeah, I don't know who's speaking either. But anyways, <laughs> that's why I'm ending this video. Uh, it got pretty dark. I'm going to go cruise it with the homies real quick. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I did everything myself with the boys, so it shouldn't be too hard. I don't think it's too hard. So, uh, if you guys have any questions, drop them down below. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Tell them to subscribe, Ivan. Subscribe, people. He's right, he's right there. You guys can't see him. He's right <laughs> a little dark. But anyways, make sure to subscribe. Um, motor's almost done. A few odds and ends here and there, and clutch, some clutch stuff, and it should be back in the car. And then should, we should be ripping, hopefully this month, you know, or pretty soon, as soon as I can, you know. Um, if this was helpful to any of you guys, make sure to leave a fat thumbs up in the video. I hope you guys have an amazing, blessed day, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Okay, okay, okay.